Jurassic World Dominion, the third and final installment in the movie series, will be released next summer. The two visually stunning predecessors naturally set the bar high, which is why we are looking forward to new material all the more. In the past few days, there have been two new images to gaze at. One was published by Empire Magazine on Twitter on Monday, another one was released last week. On the picture of Empire Magazine, we can see how an Atrociraptor is chasing the apparently fleeing Owen Grady, played by Chris Pratt. Fittingly, director Colin Trevorrow spoke out in a related interview where he makes clear the big differences between the Atrociraptors and the similar Velociraptors. While the Velociraptors assert themselves through their aptitude as cunning hunters, the Atrociraptors are clearly more vicious and brutal. They would simply charge at someone and hunt them until they were dead. Besides Velociraptors and Atrociraptors, there are also Pyroraptors which will give the human inhabitants of the planet a hard time. As mentioned before, we also provide you with a second image which comes from Entertainment Weekly. Here the change of scenery is clearly visible as we no longer see Chris Pratt in sunny Malta but in a snowy region. This represents the plot pretty well because as we know many different places around the world will be featured in the movie since the dinosaurs have spread to all places on Earth. The scene shown is also entirely different because while in Malta he still had to fear for his life, here we see him trying to tame or calm down a shy dinosaur. After these images, we look forward even more to Jurassic World Dominion which will be released on June 10th, 2022. In just under three months, Mad Reeves The Batman will be released in movie theaters. Shortly before Christmas, there was some news and pictures of the DCEU blockbuster. Reeves revealed some details in an interview that will come as a surprise to many fans. Among other things, Reeves talked about the creative process of the script which was strongly influenced by the music of the grunge band Nirvana. For him, lead actor Robert Pattinson also exudes the mixture of vulnerability and power that he likewise attributes to Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain, who passed away in 1994. As we already saw in the teaser and trailer, Pattinson embodies a much darker version of Bruce Wayne than in many other Batman films. Reeves wanted to distance himself from the Playboy version of Bruce Wayne and instead show a broken man going through a great tragedy. In addition, there was a variety of images to be seen. On two covers of Empire Magazine, Batman and Catwoman are shown in their respective suits. While Bruce Wayne wears a heavily armored suit, Catwoman stays true to herself with her leather outfit. Catwoman actress Zoe Kravitz went on to reveal that she has been watching actual footage of cats and lions to perfect her moves. She knows that she is, of course, physically inferior to Batman and thus must simply be faster and willier than him. On Twitter, Matt Reeves also released a new motion poster that, in keeping with the title Question Everything, did raise some questions. Resourceful fans quickly set to work trying to figure out the image because there are indeed clues left by the Riddler hidden in the poster. If you successfully decipher it, you will be taken to a website where the Riddler is already waiting. Have you already attempted in solving the riddle and if so, were you successful? Feel free to tell us about it in the comments. The Batman is scheduled for release on March 4th, 2022. It looked as though Spider-Man trilogy would remain in the MCU for a long time, allowing Tom Holland and his version of Spider-Man to return to rights holder Sony. However, even before the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, fans were caught off guard when Sony producer Amy Pascal announced the prospect of not just one, but three new movies. Now Marvel boss Kevin Foggy has also commented on the future of Spider-Man. He revealed to the New York Times that they would prefer to avoid another farewell drama like the one that followed after Far From Home and would rather work out the story of Spider-Man together. He even stated in no uncertain terms that they were already in the early stages of production on Spider-Man 4. Tom Rothman, who is the Sony executive in charge of the project, also emphasized once again how beneficial the collaboration with Marvel is and that they are accordingly happy to continue lending the friendly neighborhood spider to the MCU for a little longer. How exactly the story of Peter Parker will be further developed will be revealed in the talks of the coming weeks. The second season of The Witcher kicked off on Netflix a few days ago and now there's already new material on one of the countless projects from The Witcher universe. We're talking about the spin-off series The Witcher Blood Origin, which is planned to be released next year. The content is about the creation of the very first Witcher on the occasion of the conjunction of the spheres, which caused the worlds of elves, humans and other creatures to mix 1,200 years before the main story. In order to stop the roaming monsters, cruel experiments were conducted on children to create a super mutant to combat the outside threat. As we already know, this endeavor cost many children's lives since not everyone is cut out to become a witcher. Netflix released a teaser that gives us a first glimpse into the conflicted story. It is not yet clear when exactly The Witcher Blood Origin will be released, it is merely being said that this series is expected to come out next year. 
The last weeks were packed with new images of James Cameron's sequel, Avatar 2. On Monday, there was again an exclusive image to see in Empire magazine. As we already know, the story of the family of the main characters Jake and Natiri will play a significant role in the upcoming sequels. Therefore, it is all the more fitting that we finally get images of the couple's offspring. We can see Miles, aka Spider, who was left behind on the planet and adopted by Jake and Natiri. Besides Miles, there are also the siblings Nateyam, Loak, and Tukteri. However, they're all Navi and not human like their adopted brother. There's also believed to be some tension within the family because while Jake stands up for Spider, what Neytiri sees in him is mainly the negative aspects, since he's of the same species as those who destroyed her home and murdered her father. Avatar 2 is scheduled for release in theaters on December 16, 2022. 2010 saw the release of Kick-Ass, the first of two films about the teenage comic book fan Dave who wants to become a superhero himself. The movie, which was heavily hyped at the time, failed to convince every critic at first. But all in all, it's a solid action movie with a quirky story. Last week, Kick-Ass creator Matthew Vaughn surprisingly announced that he was planning a Kick-Ass reboot in the very near future. In an interview during the promo tour for Vaughn's new film The King's Man, he confirmed that he was planning to release a major reboot in two years. He he added that it was probably so crazy that he was not even allowed to talk about it. He spoke of the film being beyond anything fans could imagine and being truly wacky and shocking. Quite ambitious talk, nevertheless, we are eagerly awaiting more information on the upcoming Kick-Ass reboot. The big reunion of the Harry Potter actors on January 1st, 2021, on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the Sorcerer's Stone, is approaching. In keeping with the Christmas season, a few days ago there was a new poster to admire which shows the actors in Hogwarts Great Hall. This is a nice addition to the image published last week, which showed only the main actor trio. Pictured here alongside Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint from left to right are the actors of Fred and George Weasley, Draco Malfoy, Luna Lovegood, Dean Thomas, Neville Longbottom, and Ginny Weasley. We are definitely looking forward to the reunion and are eagerly anticipating January 1st, 2022, when Harry Potter Return to Hogwarts will be shown on HBO Max. That's it with our news for this week. On our channel, we highly recommend our latest original about the Book of Boba Fett. Potterheads can also enjoy the new trailer for the upcoming Harry Potter Return to Hogwarts. The whole team wishes you a Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy new year and is looking forward to keeping you up to date with the latest news from the world of film after the holidays. Merry Christmas and a happy new year.